Amanda. Stephen, I don't see how we can be any use to you. The whole case is such a mess. No, 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 listen. Marcelle borrowed the car from Joseph Nguni. He didn't want it brought back to his place. He wanted it back at his sister-in-law's place in Binoni. I said I'd get hold of Jake to drive it over, but then I couldn't get hold of Jake. So Alfred said he'd do it, but Alfred never came. So I took it myself, but Joseph thought that Jake had. And when the accident happened and I was knocked out cold, he gave the police Jake's name. Yes, yes, because you're under ban and shouldn't be away from Johannesburg anyway. But how can a legal help center represent somebody who wasn't there? It's perjury, Stephen, however good the reason may be. Anyway, go on. You were telling me about your rich friends. Yes. I mean, they don't strike you as being heron folk or oppressors or anything like that when you're in their company. They're pretty easygoing. Of course, they've got a pretty easy life, too. They seem bent on enjoying themselves. As for how long the party's going to last, they really believe that the Africans aren't ready to share in running the country yet. Not that they've ever known any, except their own servants. Ah, uh, yes. The black man is 300 years behind the white man. And why should he ever be allowed to catch up? Why not keep this monopoly of education and economic and political power? The good things in life. Why spread them when you can have them so thick? <laughs>